What's up guys, it's Rob from Heroes Avenue. Happy Monday, hope you guys are all doing well today. Coming at you from my office on my lunch break to give you the latest on Zack Snyder's Justice League. Now, we're gonna get into the rumored release date for Zack Snyder's Justice League and the potential conflicts uh, surrounding that in just a second. And that's this is a, that was a big topic itself. But I do wanna start off with the biggest controversy on Twitter right now, and it has to do with Steve Weintraub from Collider. Now, before I get into that, please do give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already really do appreciate your support uh, but yeah let's go ahead and get into this first story right here and uh, I have for you right here uh, a post from the playlist says Zack Snyder had left Justice League in 2017 because he had no energy to fight WB over the film links to an article and Steve Weintraub posts a laughing emoji or a laughing gif of Ryan Gosling laughing no context uh, out there now Twitter is absolutely losing its mind especially Zack Snyder fans are losing their mind over the fact that he posts this gift of Ryan Gosling laughing under an article where uh, Zack it kind of highlights Zack Snyder and his his situation especially the loss of his daughter and how he had to be with his family and obviously a lot of people are are up in arms about Steve's response especially uh, you know kind of a uh, a bigger journalist out there in in terms of his his reach you know especially on Twitter but uh, it is absolutely nuts the way he responded to the fans. I'll get to that in just a second. But uh, yeah, of course, Twitter piled on top of him uh, for this response. And to be honest, when I look at this, obviously it's a tasteless response. Um, even though I don't think in his heart of hearts is he was really uh, trying to insult uh, the man for his grieving about his daughter, I do believe... Uh, Steve is a fan of Man of Steel and Zack Snyder. He's interviewed him in the past. So I don't believe that was in his true intentions. Uh, but uh, obviously a lot of people don't believe that. They believe the opposite of that. They believe he was really laughing at him. But whatever the case, Steve didn't put any context into this GIF, which is totally his fault. And instead of apologizing and explaining himself, he goes on the attack instead of the defensive um, so let's go ahead and check out what he had to say about this. And uh, uh, so Darren saw this tweet before me, and Darren tweeted out, uh, Frosty, this is not going to end well. And indeed, it doesn't end well, because when you go on to his Twitter, he posts two responses to this, or two tweets. He says, my least favorite people on Twitter are the Snyder bros who think they know everything about the making of Justice League. Let me be clear, I look forward to seeing the new four-hour cut of Justice League. I'm sure it will be a better movie. And his second tweet says, but a lot of stuff was going on when that movie was being filmed and edited and it still hasn't come out. One day, maybe it will. I've been doing this job for 15 years and you're coming at me like I just joined the internet and don't know what I'm talking about. So there was his response and obviously he went on the attack, attacking Snyder fans. Again, if, if I was him, I would have just apologized and explained, hey, I wasn't laughing at that. I was laughing at whatever he was laughing at. Um, but the problem with his response is the fact that you are editor-in-chief of Collider, one of the the biggest outlets to to laugh and um, laugh off the Snyder Cut fans. They were the biggest, you know, them and everyone who worked there were the biggest people laughing at us and telling us that this never existed. There's no way. The cut doesn't exist. We'll never get this. It is a pipe dream. A lot of that stuff came from Collider. So for you to be saying... Um, uh, a lot of people don't know what's really going on you know us fans knew what was going on fought for it and got the win so a lot of these news outlets still can't take an L and a lot of these journalists can't take an L um, kind of report they're either jumping on the bandwagon or they're continuously uh, hating on you know what's coming out trying to tell us that hey you're not getting the cut you were promised or whatever whatever um, but yeah that's the problem is is the fans knew what's up the fans followed the stories they followed the clues that Zach left and um, you know we were right the whole time so for you to say you know a lot a lot was going on and and a lot hasn't come out yet hey you might either want to elaborate on what hasn't come out yet um, or offer some clue as to what you're talking about because right now you look like a fool uh, to be honest um, you should have just apologized and said hey I wasn't laughing at suicide I wasn't laughing at that instead you go ahead and attack the fans for you know, rightfully assuming that you're laughing about the dude's grief, the dude grieving for his, uh, you know, his deceased daughter. So 
that's my two cents on it. So let me know what you guys think about the whole Steve Weintraub situation. It's, you know, it's really, it, it's kind of funny because, you know, it's it's not funny that, that a person was potentially laughing at suicide, but it's funny the way he responded because um, obviously you should have just apologized. Um, but that was, that's that's me. That, that's what I think. Let me know what you guys think about this situation. Let's go ahead and and check out what Grace Randolph had to say. So apparently she was reacting to a Godzilla vs. Kong trailer, which was pretty cool. Um, and she's saying that right now they're scheduled to come out on March 25th and 26th, respectively. The Snyder team is trying to move back a week, even though they had their date first. What uh, We'll see what happens, fingers crossed. She also went on to say that um, the poster, a uh, description of the poster um, was very many, is the fact that uh, we may be getting... Zack Snyder's Justice League, as well as Godzilla vs. Kong with back-to-back -back days, which seems, you know, off off the top of your head, just seems kind of odd because you'd want to give, you know, two big properties such as these breathing room to kind of live in the live in the moment of, of, you know, pop culture's conversations, right? You want people to go ahead and talk about this for weeks on end before you move on to the next big topic. So that way you can keep the conversation going longer for your product and... Um, I would you would think that right so off top when I first heard this or read this I assumed WB is trying to sabotage uh, Justice League we know all the drama with Zack Snyder Ray Fisher we know that Walter Amada is trying to build a DCEU that is moving away from Snyder's vision we know that now whether or not you agree with that um, that vision that's up to you or not and and for me I would love to see um, at least I would love to see Zack's vision continue, maybe on HBO Max, while uh, they do the DCEU thing in the, uh, theatrically. You know, obviously they're introducing the idea of multiverses, and uh, we don't know what that looks like yet, but what it does appear to seem like is um, Walter Amada really wants to move away from Zack's vision. So, because we know all that, it seems like you know, when first looking at this, that they're trying to sabotage Zack Snyder's Justice League. They wanted to, it became, it first turned from a series, announced as a series, to now a four-hour cut. So it's like they're trying to hide this. They're trying to just get past this. So that way they can move on to their plan for the DCEU. Um, but when you kind of think about it even more, there's a lot of different factors that come into play. For, for example, the series that, you know, Justice League was announced as a series at first, then just we recently heard from Zack Snyder himself through a comment on Vero that it's actually going to be a four-hour cut. Um, but that doesn't seem like a huge problem because it sounded like that was Zack's... That was what Zack wanted this whole time. And there may have been, may have been, fighting behind the scenes for Zack to get this done and put together as a movie instead of a series. So we don't know that. That's no confirmation. That's just kind of the vibe you get when you follow Zack's comments in the past. Um, along with what you know how the con how the conversation has been changing um, and also you know Godzilla vs. Kong was moved up to March and if you think about it um, legendary you know there's the whole story with HBO Max announcing the theatrical release ver and simultaneous release on streaming of all these movies and legendary who financed a lot of these well Finance Dune and Godzilla vs. Kong was incredibly pissed because they got no word from HBO Max that this was going to happen. So maybe this is HBO Max giving in to Legendary's uh, demands to moving um, up to date. Um, and they wanted a specific date and it just happened to be when Zack Snyder's Just League is coming out. So there's, there's those factors that come into play. Who knows whether or not it's actual sabotage or... Um, or you know, uh, maybe there's other thinking. I'm really curious to know what you guys think about this situation. Why would there be two movies coming out back to back? Maybe the thinking is that, hey, this is a streaming service and things can leave on, live on streaming simultaneously. You know, we could sit down and watch, uh, binge watch the four hour cut of Justice League and then watch Godzilla the next day and it'll be no problem for consumers, especially because it's streaming. It's not like we're living, we're watching this in theaters when theaters, uh, you really got to uh, allow um, a window of viewing time for the audience. Um, streaming is a whole different animal where um, you can consume a lot of different properties and, and, and um, a lot of different movies, shows, whatever, in one weekend. So um, I'm really curious to see what you guys think. To be honest, I still have this feeling that WB is 
trying to kind of undercut the success of Zack Snyder's Justice League, but that's just me. You know, other people might have a different opinion of it. I'm really curious to see what you guys think because, um, to be honest, I want this movie to succeed so that way we can potentially get more of it. We've heard Zack say this is a one and done thing. This is probably his last thing that he's going to do. But um, I do think success can change the conversation and I want this movie su to succeed. And I think um, while it still can succeed with back to back dates with Godzilla versus Kong, I do think it'll have a better chance of succeeding and, and, and getting more attention if they were spaced out. So I do hope the Snipe team gets what they want in either moving up a week so we can see it earlier, which would be great, or even moving back a week. And I don't mind waiting a week more because we've waited all this time to get this movie, anyways. So pretty, uh, I'm pretty, you know, uh, on edge in terms of hearing the news for this. Hopefully we get it soon, and I do believe we'll get it soon because um, we just got new merch. You know, I think the other week we got merch uh, from Justice League with, of Darkseid. Then recently we got Steppenwolf. There's a t-shirt with Steppenwolf out right now. And um, uh, this, the t-shirt looks okay. I mean, I didn't buy the Darkseid one. I didn't think it looked very, very good, to be honest. And I don't think the Steppenwolf looks very good either. It looks like a, a graphic that... Um, was put together really quick. I do think Zach's own merchandise that he sold on Ink to the People looked much better than this. So, yeah, that's what I think. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this whole situation. What do you think of Frosty's comments and reaction? And what do you think of Zack Snyder's Justice League potentially coming out back-to-back -back with Godzilla vs. Kong? Uh, let me know what you think. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.